Okay, so even though there are many, many causes of neurotransmitter imbalance in the body, there's really only two main effects on the body. The first is that your neurotransmitter levels drop below the threshold that you need to maintain or obtain proper function. The second is that there has actually been damage in the neuron themselves. Now in the first case, it's very, very simple to use amino acid therapy without any testing to get that level back up above the threshold, get your neurotransmitter stores returned to normal, and then get off of the amino acids so that you, and then you will maintain proper function. So that's very simple. In the second case, it's a little bit more tricky because there's actually been damage in the neurons, and that damage is permanent. It's called neurotoxicity. And what happens in that case is that whatever caused it, whether it was uh, trauma or whether, whether some kind of toxin, um, stress generally wouldn't cause permanent neurotoxicity, but I suppose it could. But if you, in those cases where there's been permanent damage of the neurons, those neurons don't work anymore. But luckily, the body has an ingenious way of dealing with those damaged neurons. So you can think about it like this. If you have a nerve bundle and it contains 100 neurons in it, let's say 50 of those neurons get knocked out, so 50% damage. Now that would cause an immense array of symptoms and very, very severe symptoms, something like Parkinson's disease, for instance. But what happens is if you give those remaining 50 neurons, the healthy ones, in that nerve bundle enough raw material, so enough amino acids, it'll make enough neurotransmitter coming out the other end so that the body doesn't know the difference between what you're giving it right then versus when it had 100% functioning of all the neurons. So it's in essence akin to turning up the voltage on an electrical wire. If you put more input on one end, you get more power at the other end, and it's the same thing. So, but if this all starts to sound kind of like Charlie Brown's teacher, you know, like the wah, 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 then just think about this. So what we're doing in essence is giving the healthy neurons enough raw material to make enough neurotransmitter to make up for the damaged neurons. Again, by doing so, the body doesn't know the difference between the output at the other end. If you're just giving more through a smaller pipe or if you're giving less through a bigger pipe, it's still the same amount coming out the other end. So all we're doing is making it easier for the body to do what it needs to do by giving it the proper balance of amino acid therapy.